Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to give you a quick look at some of the new features in LaunchBox 7.12. It was released today and there's some great fixes and some awesome new features. So the first two new features here have to do with startup videos. Big box startup videos are now overhauled to run within Big Box and not VLC. What this means is if you get to a point where you want to skip your startup video, you can go ahead and press a key on your keyboard or controller and skip the startup video. Before, when they were running in VLC, they had to finish before Big Box would start up. Another feature added was the ability to use random startup videos. I'm going to go to my LaunchBox directory. Under Videos, I have a folder called Startup. Inside of here, I have a few startup videos for Big Box. I'll also leave links in the description to the forum where you can go and download all of these startup videos. This is just one of the startup videos I have in my startup folder. Each time you start, it will be random, and the more videos you have, the more random it's going to be. The next new feature that I want to show you guys is the ability to change themes per platform. Now it's really easy to do. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. I'm gonna back up to the menu. I'll scroll to options. You can always set up your keyboard if you'd like to. We're gonna find switch theme. I have it set to V, but I wanna use my controller for most everything. So I'll go to controller buttons and I'll find switch theme here. I'm gonna set this to a button on my controller. I'll back up. So I'm using the default theme for Big Box. I'm going to go into Wonderswan Color. As you can see, it's default. If I press that hotkey I just set up, it'll bring up a menu. I want to change this to the Blade Runner theme just for Wonderswan. So now my Wonderswan platform is set to Blade Runner. I'll back up. As you can see, we're still on the default theme here. Let's go ahead and change another one, Super Nintendo. Default, hotkey, I'm going to set this to classic mini NES. Now I have a different theme for my SNES section. And I'll just go back to Wonderswan to show you that it kept that Blade Runner theme. Really awesome new feature built into Big Box. The last new feature I want to show you in this video that's included with LaunchBox 7.12 is the ability to import media items and window shortcuts using the new none of the above import type. This feature is going to be really helpful for importing non-Steam games, Windows apps, movies, and other media. I'm going to go ahead and demo it here. I'll just close out my welcome screen. And Wolfenstein 2 was launched today. Really good game. If you haven't tried it, you got to give it a shot. I'm going to drop it right on here. And I'm going to click none of the above. Select platform for imported games. I'm going to go to Windows just so I have an option when I open up Big Box. Now I have that game imported. I'll go to my Windows section and I have Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus right here. This makes it really easy to import things like movies, different types of media and older games. So that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you some of the new features built into version 7.12. There's also lots of improvements and lots of bug fixes. I'll leave a link to the change log down below if you want to go ahead and read through it. There's a lot of stuff there. It'll definitely help you out in the end. We really appreciate you guys watching and hope you enjoy the new features that are built into LaunchBox. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more great news and content. Like always, thanks for watching.